Hey guys, how you doing? I am back with another book. Uh, I read this book in three days. Uh, I finished it on Wednesday. It is now Sunday, and I needed an extra three days to really kind of let it sit with me and uh, decide what I wanted to, how I wanted to take it in. Uh, this is the first classic that I'm doing in this video book reviews, and I'm certainly looking forward to reading some more. Uh, this book had a bigger impact on me than I had expected. This is 1984 by George Orwell, uh, published in 1949, uh, and I read the Berkeley paperback edition, which was published in 2017. Now, this paperback edition has a nice afterword by uh, Eric Fromm. Very insightful, very informative. Um, so if you have not read this book, I recommend it. This is a, one of the dystopian novels, uh, a classic. Uh, broken up into three parts. Uh, over the three parts, we are, we have a major power, one of three in the world, named Oceana. And we follow the protagonist, Winston Smith, uh, who lives in London, or what is now London. Um, and the political party is Big Brother, has complete control over the population. Now, the as I said, the book was broken up into three parts. Part one, uh, Winston Smith, his daily routine, and how the um, party came to be about, or we get sort of snippets of that. Uh, part two, uh, Winston Smith's life change after meeting someone that was horrifying. And part three, without going into too much detail, uh, Winston versus the Big Brother party. Reading this book was certainly surreal for me, um, mostly because of the technology and the behavior of the people in power. Examples eliminating words from the language uh, in order to make uh, control the thought, the conscious thought, um, changing the form of words to make writing easier. Uh, on top of that, using technology to make writing, writing easier. Uh, and also using technology to control population and what is considered to be the truth. Um, so one of the examples of um, technology would be to speak right, using your voice, speaking, and it writes down what you're saying. Uh, we do that. Uh, we have that feature in our text messages. Uh, when you want to send a text message, you hit the microphone, speak, it comes out in words, and uh, I'm going to say about 85% of the time, it's always right. And uh, let me tell you, when you eliminate a lot of words from the language to make uh, language simpler, I bet you the accuracy is going to be a lot higher. Uh, using telescreen to watch everyone, so that's what Big Brother does, is that everybody has a telescreen in their home. There's a telescreen in every corner, street, market. Um, no different than a CCTV, webcams, microphones, etc. So you really got to think about, what is this book about? Like, why, why did we write this book? Um, and, and this is a question that's quite debated um, over time. Uh, a lot of high schools read this book, and they... They debate this question. And, and there is no one right answer, of course. Um, there is a question that uh, the author of the afterword stated, where it really boils down the basic question that this book proposes. Uh, can human nature be changed in such a way that man will forget his longing for freedom, for dignity, for integrity, for love? That is to say, can man forget that he is human? And that's exactly what I thought this book, this book was about. Um, I, I came to that conclusion before I even read this afterward. Uh, it is about love, the importance of humanity, what it means to be human and what defines us as human. The power of our brains, the being able to think for ourselves and discover and use logic and being able to experience the world around us with our own emotions and not what others tell us to feel or to think. Being able to appreciate language and words to express what you're feeling and not being reduced to just two or three words. I don't want to keep going further. As I just said, you need to be able to feel or think for yourself on this book. Um, this book is important. I, I, I do think it is. Um, I gave this book four out of five stars. Um, the language is a little dry. Because it's a little dry doesn't mean it's not important. Read it.
I recommend it.